How's it going? We saw Guardians this weekend and it was incredible, amazing, and you should watch it too. What up, internet peoples? Just saw Guardians on Friday and it was pretty kick but awesome, incredible, fantastic. That's right, that's one word now. This movie, even though it's great, does not really lend itself to the greater uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is kind of interesting considering Guardians is probably their biggest property in terms of like scale. Because, um, you know, it happens in outer space. What's bigger than outer space? Technically, space is relative, but you don't have to worry about that. All the small little details, the nooks and crannies that are in Guardians of the Galaxy definitely lend themselves back to the comics, which is really awesome. But they don't really help enhance the plot of the story at all. Honestly, it's pr a pretty great self-contained story about the Guardians of the Galaxy. But there is not really much detailing as to whether or not you know, what's going to happen afterwards with Thanos, with Earth, are they going to go back to Earth, are they going to meet any of the Earth superheroes, honestly it's just kind of left all up in the air, and it's, it's, it's good though, it's, I swear, it's a really good movie, I'm telling you, it's a good movie. James Gunn does a great job of really enhancing the characters that he created in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, Rocket's incessant thievery is pretty awesome. David Batista's Drax is spot on. The humor, the same kind of dead humor, the, the same kind of dead dry humor that was in the first one is multiplied by about a thousand in this one. It's pretty great, especially his moments with Mantis, which are hilarious and heartwarming at the same time. Very hard to do that in a movie that's really le legitimately about people hitting each other with like fists and lasers and stuff. It's interesting to see uh, Gamora's, <clears throat> it's interesting, um, it's interesting to see Gamora and Nebula kind of play off each other in this like family drama. And that's the one thing that's really awesome about this movie. I'm not forgetting about Groot, but in the greater scheme of this movie, this whole movie is about family. It's about um, the family dynamics of the Guardians, family dynamics of everyone in the garden that like the specific guardians past like star lord with his father gamora with her sister groot and rocket or just but at the same time when i was watching this movie i just imagined baby groot's voice changing to just regular vin diesel and just yelling out this is my family man or something something weird like that i can't really do a good vin diesel voice but you kind of get the idea it's like you know what if hold on crossover Guardians of the Galaxy, Fast and the Furious. They have not gone to space yet. I mean, technically they did jump from a plane, but they need to go straight up into space because the best thing you can do with a tired and old franchise is send them to space. I'm looking at you, Leprechaun 4. That was amazing. You need to come back, Leprechaun. Although the reboot was terrible. I, you get the idea. The intro fight scene is probably one of the most intense, heavily choreographed, amazingly well written pieces of intro dialogue I've ever seen in a movie and it all takes place within like this giant monster battle that's like a CGI fight scene and it works <laughs> because you get to really you get to remem have a chance to remember all of the characters from the first movie it does a really good job of that and right off the bat you're just kind of thrown it back into the Guardians of the Galaxy universe where they're literally fighting a giant monster going to some weird space planet where everyone's all weird and stuff to fighting a bunch of like a literal armada of weird space people and from there it's just it's pretty cool. Kurt Russell's character in this movie is pretty interesting where he kind of plays off as this altruistic hippie so like astral being but in reality it's like he's kind of a asshole. <laughs> it's kind of he starts off as like this hippie ethereal astral being because he's you know a celestial. Spoilers, I guess. And he kind of progresses into like this really intense like man who's driven by a soul desire, and you all know how that goes. Man with soul desire eventually falls off the wagon and goes insane. Russell's villain is okay. It's more about the family dramas that happen in Guardians of the Galaxy and how they kind of interweave with each other. Uh, there is a really touching moment in the final climax of the movie 
and you're probably gonna tear up because this is a character who you really did not expect to like warm up like you really did not expect would hit you in the heartstrings but it really does and they do a really great kind of send off a li literal send off it's one of the reasons why this movie works honestly it's such a interesting in it's just such an he it's just such a great heavy moment right that kind of gives you a break from all of like the space battle stuff and it makes you kind of think about the scripts that were written for the story and how they were kind of interwoven together whether or not it was planned it's it's a very very epic touching sentimental moment and it definitely is worth the ticket price you need to see guardians of the galaxy you need to see it with your friends you need to see it in 3d you need to see a bootleg actually maybe not bootleg it wait a few months if you really need to bootleg it bootleg it then just make sure you go see this movie in theaters the biggest screen you can make sure it's like a wraparound screen so that there's literally nothing else you can see it is a pretty epic movie i suggest you go see it see it, see it immediately and with that i'm out take care guys Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe with the little buttons right below my head. And there's going to be a little comment section below. Go ahead and write us a comment whether or not you like Guardians of the Galaxy, whether or not you didn't like it, or what other MCU movie you're excited to see, or DCU movie you're excited to see. 